Now I'm going to talk about how you can uh, create a property in Hypermesh. To create a property in Hypermesh, you have to be in the model browser, which means this model tab has to be selected. Next is we have to go to this blank space, right click, create, and then we have to select property. Now we have to type the name for our property and uh, we will name the, uh, the property monitor bracket. So monitor underscore bracket. We have to click now OK. The next step is to uh, select the card image. Since we are dealing with solid elements, uh, we will select P solid and we will select uh, yes. Changing the card image can result in uh, irreversible modifications to entity's data. Do you want to proceed? Yes. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, which which solid element we, uh, we have in uh, in our mesh. Uh, it can be uh, type tetra, hexa, or pyramid, or etc. We always we always pick uh, the the card image uh, P solid. The next step is to select the material for our property so we just have to click on materials material here we have to select steel which he, which we created earlier and okay uh, and the last step is to assign a color to a property so to do this we have to click on this small uh, color box next to the property's name with a left mouse click and we have to select a new color and again left click somewhere on the blank space and uh, it is important uh, not to assign uh, a gray color to the property collector uh, this is because if later on we want to display elements with the option by prop which means by property elements without any property references will be then displayed in gray color so just to avoid confusion So now that we created the property, we can uh, assign the property to our component. To do this, we have to go to component. We have to click this small arrow. We have to select our component, which is a mesh, which, which is the one that contains our mesh uh, elements. We have to right click on it. We have to select assign. Then add from property menu, we have to select uh, our property, which is monitor bracket, apply. And then in the lower left corner, we get a message, one component was selected, all components assigned property monitor bracket. Now we have to click OK. So now this is done. Our component uh, has the property monitor bracket. And to do a quick check, we can, we can uh, obtain a mass of our component. And to do this, we can go to this, to this small icon, mass area calculation calc uh, here, left click on it. And then under components, we have to click on components. We can select a mesh, which is the one which, which contains our mesh. We click select. And then to get uh, to get total mass, we have to click on calculate. And our mass is displayed. Our total mass is displayed, which is 2.880 e to minus 3 tons, which is exactly 2.88 kilograms. Now we click on return. Another way to obtain the mass is to go to tools then to go to mass calc and again to select components mesh select and calculate we get again the same same value 2.880 e to minus 3 tons which is 2.880 kilograms